Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this brown and green cut crease with glitter. Remember to follow me so you guys can see more of my tutorials. Okay ladies, so the first shade we're going to be going in with is this very very dark green shade. I did not set my concealer because I want this to be super super dark. We're only going to be applying this shade on our crease and on our lid. Do not go above that. Well, when you're applying this shade, you guys, do not blend it yet. We're just packing this on here in tapping motions because we want the product to stick. Later on, we will blend this eyeshadow out. If you guys hear my voice sounding kind of funny, it's because I have the worst allergies ever and my nose is so runny, you guys, so I sound horrible. <laughs> so don't mind my voice. Make sure you guys pack this on all the way towards that outer area. Do not be afraid to touch this spot, you guys. And after this shade, once it's nice and dark, we're going to be applying this lighter shade. And we're going to be blending this out where that dark green shade ends. As you guys can see, I'm not touching the bottom. We are having some fallout, but it is okay because if that color disappears, we'll just apply some more. So we're going to be blending this in side to side motions just because we want to blend out that dark green shade at the top please do not touch your eyebrow with this shade because we're going in with a lighter color as you guys can see i'm using this lighter green to blend out the other shades and then you guys we're going to go back in with the second color that we used and we're going to add some more because a lot of it came off with the other shade and then after this one you guys we're going to go ahead and grab some more of the dark green and we're also going to be adding it onto our crease because we want it to get dark again next i'm going to be going in with my eye makeup remover liquid and my pointy q-tips and i'm going to be cleaning out my crease you guys these q-tips are from my website if you guys are interested they're only six dollars for 200 of them they are very handy as you guys can see this comes off so easily they're my favorite to use the link is down below in the description if you guys want to purchase it and if you're watching this through tiktok the link is in my bio when you are doing this step i highly recommend you apply the least amount of pressure with the q-tip because you don't want the liquid to squeeze out and get to the top of your crease and ruin the eye look so make sure you apply the least amount of pressure when you're doing this step Honestly, ladies, this is one of my favorite steps when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I love a very clean cut crease. Now I'm using whatever is left over on that Q-tip and I'm just going to be cleaning this out with this. If there is a mess, do not worry. We're going to flip this Q-tip over and use the dry side just to clean out any excess oil and eyeshadow. You guys, you literally have to trust the process. I know it may look a little messy, but it looks beautiful at the end. If you've made it this far, please comment the word green down below so that I know that you're a real one and you actually watch my videos all the way through. Also, I would appreciate if you guys let me know if you like these longer videos here on TikTok and on YouTube. I would appreciate that. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Creations Foundation and one of my brushes from my collection on my website. The link is down below if you guys want to purchase it. And I'm going to be cutting my crease with this. If you guys want a detailed video on how I cut my creases, please let me know in the comments down below so I can make another one. Also, you guys, I recommend you get this brush. It is the best for doing cut creases. I love it. It is super flat and small and it's so easy to get around and it leaves such a smooth canvas. It's from my website, you guys, and it's from a brush collection. Make sure you guys check that out, okay? We are going to be carefully drawing out that line because we want it to look as sharp as possible. Make sure you try not to touch the green because we want this to look super, super straight. Now I'm taking this brown shade, you guys, and I'm going to be applying this all over that base we created in tapping motions because we do not want to drag this brush because it will move that product around. So make sure you do tapping motions in every single little area. After that, I'm going to be using a clean Q-tip with some liquid and we're going to be cleaning that outer area out so that it looks very, very nice and sharp. After this step, you guys, always remember to flip the little Q-tip over and just use the dry side to remove any of that oil. 
Next, I'm going in with my glitter Kayla and I'm going to be applying this on my crease. You guys use these glitters with caution because you do not want to get this in your eye. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to go get yours from my website. Also, if you're coming from TikTok, the link is in my bio. I'm going to be applying this all over my crease, you guys, in a straight line using my glue from my cosmetic line as well because it is not harsh on the eye, so don't worry. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> and we're going to be applying this with a flat brush. Do not worry about any fallout because we're going to use a small fan brush and we're going to be removing any extra glitter that falls out onto our eye. As you guys can see, I'm tapping very gently over that glue because I want it to stay in that area where I applied it. Now I'm taking my little fan brush. As you guys can see, I'm removing any extra glitter that fell onto my other eyeshadow. Next, I'm going in with my favorite eyeliner, and this is from Italia Deluxe. It is my favorite, most darkest eyeliner I have ever used. I mentioned this in every video. I love how matte it is and how dark it is. I recommend this, you guys. I'm going to start off by drawing the line of my guide here, and then I'm going to be taking this all the way down so that I get a very, very sharp wing. If you guys see me smiling in the video, it's because I'm currently live on my TikTok as I'm filming this. My TikTok viewers get to see this tutorial live. So if you guys want to go follow me there, I'd appreciate it and you guys would see my work live. Now I'm applying my eyelashes, which will soon be on my website for you guys to purchase. I will let you guys know when that launches. They are my absolute favorite. I use them in every single tutorial. Okay, now after I'm done with this, I did my eye off camera and here is the results you guys i love this makeup look i'm sorry if the lighting is horrible but this is the finishing look thank you guys so much for watching remember to like comment down below and follow me thank you guys so much for your support and i will see you guys in my next video bye